Okay, so here's the lampshade that I want to do. And actually the base of this lamp I found in the landfill. I can't imagine anybody getting rid of it. It is all solid wood and ornate and it's beautiful. But I want to perk up the shade, so I'm going to decoupage this bed sheet on it. I picked this bed sheet up at Value Village for $2.99 and I just love the 70s groovy feel of it and I'm excited to get this on the lampshade. I couldn't believe when I found this bed sheet because it matches my craft pegboard perfectly. Okay, I'm going to measure the lampshade and see the width that I need the panels in. I'm actually, I'm not going to do this all in one piece. I'm gonna decoupage separate panels on because it's easier to work with. And what's nice about this sheet is the width is exactly two of these squares. So I'm going to cut that for the width and then I'm going to cut the length and then cut them into panels. Okay, I've got them all cut out in the width that I need and now I'm going to cut them down into panels and I'm going to do them with the two sections of the squares and that'll make it so much easier when I'm decoupaging because you won't have so much fabric to work with. And that's the first panel that I'm going to start with and you can see how it fits right on the lampshade. I'm going to iron all the panels so they're nice and smooth and easy to work with. And I'm just using a high setting of six and getting them nice and flat. And I'm going to be using my Mod Podge mat. And when I start to decoupage, I'm going to have to push that fabric into all those pleats on the lampshade. When applying the Mod Podge, you have to use quite a bit because you want that to soak right through into the fabric so you have it adhere really well. So I'm applying a liberal amount and I'm just going to do it in small sections. Do four or five pleats all at once and then lift it up and apply some more. And when I'm applying the first panel, I want to make sure I have the edge right in the middle of the first pleat. And I'm going to flip it up and add some more Mod Podge and just keep working away. I found as I was going along, I got a little credit card and that worked really well to help me push it into all those pleats really well because you want to make sure that it's bonded really well in the middle of that pleat so it doesn't pop up. And also when I have it adhered really well in those pleats, I take some Mod Podge and I put a liberal amount on the top. And there's a first panel, all finished and I think it looks fabulous. Okay, now I'm ready to start the second panel and I want to make sure that I line up the patterns as best as I can and then put that seam right in the middle of that pleat and then add the Mod Podge on top to seal it in and keep working away again. As I'm redoing my craft room, I've kind of been drawn towards all these funky, fun, whimsical colors and I think it helps with my creativity. What do you think? Do you like this style? Let me know down in the comments. Now when I ended this panel, I had a little bit of excess fabric that didn't fit right into the middle of the pleat. So I'm just going to trim that off so it's flush right in there and start with the next panel.
Now I'm finally almost done, so I'm just gonna measure up the last little bit that I need to fit in and cut it to size and decoupage it in there. I tried to line and match the patterns as best I could. It's really hard when it's a little bit of a angle on the lampshade, but it fit pretty good and it looks pretty good. And with all the pleats, it kind of hides any imperfections. Decoupaging is all about having fun. It's not about having it completely perfect. And I think I am going to love this lampshade. Okay, all finished. It used quite a bit of Mod Podge, but it adhered really well and the fabric is stuck really well to the lampshade. So now I'm just gonna tuck in all the pieces around the edge into the pleats and give it a nice finished look. I'm just gonna trim off some of the excess fabric just so there's enough just to tuck down into the pleats so it's not really bulky. Okay, I'm gonna add some Mod Podge along that little bit of fabric and tuck it right up into the pleats. And as I got going, um, I was trying to use my fingers and then I realized that my scissors, the point of my scissors would poke it right up into that pleat and make it nice and smooth and finished looking. And the finished edge looks wonderful. I really like it. And now I'm just gonna do the top and we're almost there. Okay, all the ends are tucked in and now we're ready to add the finishing touch. And this is exciting. I found this bag at the thrift store for $2, a full bag, and it is the 70s pom-pom trim. And I'm gonna put it on the top and the bottom of the lampshade and I think it's gonna look fabulous. I'm just gonna uh, secure it with my hot glue gun around the top edge and the bottom edge. Okay, all finished and let's get it on this lamp post and we can have a look and see how it fits into my craft room. And there it is, all finished. It looks exactly like how I wanted it to. It's kind of funky, eclectic, 70s vibes. And when I walk into my craft room, it just makes me happy. And that base of the lamp is unbelievable. I love it and I'm so glad I was able to find it and rescue it and bring it here to my home. My craft room's almost complete, so stick around because I'll do a room tour real soon. Thanks so much for watching today's video and if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. I love to read them. I'll be sharing so many more DIY thrifting repurposing videos, so if you aren't already following along, Make sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell and that will let you know when I upload my next video. See you real soon. Take care and have a great day.